Yeah, so um, Sean works really hard, um, but there are definitely times when he's out of the office, and I love it. When he's out of the office, I usually just come in here and sit in this powerful seat. I love, I'm here in his office right now, wearing his slippers, and it's great. I just, I come in here and I just feel what it's like to be the executive chairman of L.L. Bean. And um, so I figured, why not do the interview here? It's really my most comfortable spot. Um, so, welcome. <music> Sean is, is a business and community leader, and I, you know I had the opportunity to know him from the very beginning as his first supervisor at LL Bean. He was a, a marketing analyst in our advertising department, and it was a fun, dynamic group of people. And Sean really made it a special place to work. He's obviously done fairly well since working for me. Um, if there's anything that I would you know do over again, it would probably be a little nicer to him in the beginning. We have a blast. So Sean and I travel a lot. We are an imposing physical duo as we wander around. We are constantly confused. People in the business call me Sean straight to my face. They'll call Sean Steve straight to his face. Um, and we have a lot of lot of fun with that. He's a great business partner and a great leader. And um, I'm happy that he brought me into the company. His down-to-earth nature, his unassuming approach is just so welcoming. He's a great guy to go out and have a burger and a beer with. The foundation staff love him. He's very engaged with us. And then when you start talking to him and the depth of his business acumen and the way that he can strategically think about issues just come across from any conversation that you're going to have with him. Over the years, Sean really became deeply engaged with our organization and with all of the priorities on his plate. United Way was always something that he showed was important to him personally. I think he really believes in the partnership of all the sectors working together and sees how a strong L.L. Bean is great for a United Way and a strong United Way and community is great for an L.L. Bean. Sean in particular has a profound sense of this kind of intersection of business, family and community. And he was very instrumental in really sharpening the Foundation's mission with us, kind of laying out our values and our priorities and was very engaged all along the way. You know, in the same way that you know, Sean has tried to take a company with very deep historical roots and urge it and push it towards trying new things and taking bolder risks for the future, you know, his orientation around the foundation is very similar to that. What does historical legacy mean for the future? L.O. Bean is rooted in Maine culture. And I think that main culture includes forthrightness, integrity, honesty. And you see that in the quality of products that L.L. Bean sells. You see it in the relationship that L.L. Bean has with its customers and its employees. And what Sean has done is to really nurture and protect those values. That's a key contribution. And I think he's an excellent leader in making sure that that respect for L.L. Bean's heritage is also going to be part of L.L. Bean's future. Everybody has experienced the magic, the iconic nature of L.L. Bean, who's grown up in Maine and who lives here. We're very proud of this business. There are so many beautiful things about the company, but then we also have to evolve. And I think Sean brings this nice combination of a great appreciation for the respect and the values of the, or of the organization. Then also, he's willing to take some risks and try to evolve it. And we've changed some long-standing policies in the last year. We've made some tough changes. And that takes courage, and I think that's probably the biggest thing with Sean is he has the courage to lead, and not everybody brings that. I think it's really fitting and right that the junior achievement is, is honoring Sean. Um, I think Sean's role is quite unique. Obviously, he's an executive chairman, but also... Because he had grown up here as part of the business, and learned and learned over time, and stepped up in increasing levels of responsibilities. Being a great grandson, I think he thinks a lot about legacy, a lot about leadership a lot about values and how do you keep values moving through different generations of a family and then bringing those values into a business. Uh, and at the same time really was able to keep lots of things in balance, you know, his relationship not just to the company and to its employees but also the community. He is a, he's very generous with his time. And now I think as he sits and he watches his nieces and nephews and his son and daughters coming up through the family and up through the organization, I think he is constantly working on and thinking about leadership and multi-generational leadership. <laughs>